all right guys you have seen me running android lollipop and kitkat on my raspberry pi 2 for a while now now as you can see it's a very pure version of android it even lacks google apps so it's not much of a use and you cannot do too much except for maybe browse some uh, websites and nothing more than that so today i am going to show you guys how you can get google apps google play store google music and all of that jazz on to your android on the raspberry pi now for that you will be needing either kitkat or lollipop the procedure remains the same i will recommend ubuntu on your pc but windows will also do now on the other hand you will actually require the raspberry pi to be hooked up to an ethernet port as well as your keyboard at least and mouse if possible now once all of that is done we can switch to a computer running either ubuntu or windows now on your pc you need to install adb you can do it on windows as well as on ubuntu now i am doing it on ubuntu because it is much easier i will link some tutorials to how to do it on windows in the description but for ubuntu all you need to do is write sudo apt get install android tools adb and that should install the android adb onto your ubuntu pc but since it's in already installed it's not showing anything and once that is done we need to move back to our android and get some information from there now on your android installation what you need to do is go into settings scroll down to developer options and enable usb debugging click ok and go back now scroll down to about tablet select status and take a note of the ip address so in this case mine is 192.168.1.10 once this is done we can get back to our pc now on our pc we need to go to wiki.sciencesandmore.org slash w slash google underscore apps i will leave a link in the description now if you are using android 5.1 you will need to download the cm12.1 gaps package if you are using android 5.0 you need to download the cm12 version and for kitkat you will need to download the cm11 version now since i have kitkat now as you can see i have downloaded the gaps right here and all you need to do is double click it and extract only the system folder in your home directory now once that is done you will have a system file right here and close this next we need to connect adb to our raspberry pi for that we will enter adb connect and the IP address we noted before so 192.168.1.10 and once it says connected we need to do adb remount and it will give a mixed status but this point is necessary and next we need to copy the system folder that we have extracted onto our raspberry pi now for that we will put adb push system space slash system and once that is done press enter and it will start copying all the full all the required files for the gaps it will take some time
and once that is done what we need to do is reboot our raspberry pi and for that we can type in ad b space reboot this will reboot our raspberry pi and we can switch over now as you can see we have rebooted into android it will take some time as it initializes all the files that we have just copied onto the system folder Now we have booted on and when we unlock our Raspberry Pi we will get a Google Plus error message but we don't we really don't have to make take any attention just click OK and next we will be welcomed with a familiar add a Google account uh, page now you can go ahead and add your account as I am doing mine so I'll go to new uh, or oh, sorry so I'll take existing okay. Ooh, it crashed and now it requires me to sign in so I'll get back when I have done that of course I don't want you guys to see my password so sorry if you are if you were planning on hacking my account alright now I have successfully signed into my account and we can proceed with further testing of how this installation has gone and how much it actually works or not now I won't be too hopeful of it working perfectly because it is a very early Android build for the Raspberry Pi not everything will be supported as you can see already Google Plus says your device is not compatible with this version now what that means is there won't be a lot of apps to play with around here and you can see we have very very few apps now we can go on to top free we have one we go back to home we do have a couple of apps that we can actually try to install now let's see ida64 has been a very popular choice uh, to you know see the system information and all of that sort of thing so we will click install and let's see how this goes now a lot of you uh, might be wondering if the google now actually works so let's test that too uh, now when i long click the home icon i do get a google option and on upon releasing on the google icon uh, well i don't get really much all right so it pops up and i do have google now running on uh, my raspberry pi so that is great and as you can see in the notification panel the ida64 application is also installing so it's not that bad although the app support is very very minimal uh, and now we do have the google now up and running so we have our temperature our weather cards right uh, right here and other stuff just floating around now we can go now we can see the idea 64 has completed installation and the icon has automatically popped up we can open it up and see that it is actually uh, working pretty well 
we do have our Broadcom BCM2709 as hardware, our 1 GB of RAM, uh, our total usable RAM and external storage as uh, an internal storage of around 7 GB. Now if you go over to our CPU, we actually get the exact clock speeds we are running at as well as our CPU utilization which seems to be pretty high which is no surprise since the GPU is not working at all and let's go to display it shows 1280 by 720 it's a 1080p display but I have scaled it down so it looks better on camera uh, 60Hz refresh rate mm, and you can see the GPU renderer shows Android Pixel fin fin Flinger 1.4 which is a default I guess and not really optimized to run on the Raspberry Pi's GPU uh, now our android version sensor should be nothing thermal should be okay so it's successfully showing the bcm 2835 temperature which is pretty amazing i have not seen this on uh, many other you know uh, custom os for the raspberry pi as it requires some special programs to do that but this is cool we are getting the uh, temperature as well and we can go back home and uh, once we click on the app door you can see we have a play store we have a youtube app which won't work i mean it will open up but it won't work because there's no graphic driver a uh, google plus app which might work and it does so it is actually pretty amazing that it does i was not expecting it to work at all all right we have google plus up and going we have uh, the emails coming up which is great and it's it's working now as a normal android system now the only issue being that uh, the only issue being that we there is a lack of graphics driver which makes the system very very laggy and hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, since there is a not, not a lot of uh, apps available directly from Play Store, I might be doing another video on how to sideload apps from ADB. So this has been Sahaj from GTIH and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.